everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Susie Q. Uh, I fight for your rights and mine too. But today I am fighting for all of our right to nutrition and self-care and a wonderful day. So this is a get ready with me video. I'm going to make a daily harvest smoothie. I'm gonna put in my Hubble contact lenses and my Ho cosmetic space. I'm actually already wearing a Haberdash piece. Um, this is actually the piece I liked least. Um, I don't really know what these little like, strings are for, um, but it's like pure cotton. Um, it's really cozy, but it's like very, very high. I can't really wear it with anything besides this Fashion Nova leotard that I'm rocking right now because I was planning to do some yoga and dancing later in my living room. Hello, welcome. Uh, please feel free to get in the comments, get in the chat. I'm definitely here and watching you, but we're going to dive right into it and make a smoothie. So Daily Harvest, they are a food subscription service that is literally saving my life right now. I think I actually first heard about this from Chanel Preston, who is also in the adult film industry. She is a Spiegler girl, um, was one of the founding members of APAC, the Adult Performer Advocacy Committee, which um, I served on for two years and still an active member of. But she was in law school um, for, I don't know if she still is. <laughs> do you ever graduate from law school? No, you do. But when she was in law school, she said that Daily Harvest, I think, I think that's what she said, saved her life. And I am now not in law school, whew, nor I don't think will I ever be. I'm not a law school kid. Um, but I do work at the ACLU, which is full of people who have gone to law school or about to go to law school or thinking about going to law school or taking their LSATs or whatever. Um, so it, it's a really stressful environment. I'm going to close this window real quick. Bam! Um, okay, P.S. really quick. I want you all I want you to meet my cactus. Um, I love this cactus so much. It has a spell inside of it. Um, I don't want to get too much into that now, but yes, I am a witch, and um, I planted this cactus to help me get a job at the ACLU, and it worked. <laughs> so, yeah, well, love you, cactus. You're still doing great. Soaking up some sun. So, Daily Harvest, they're not like other meal subscription boxes because you don't have to do anything. There's no chopping, there's no prep, There's and there's not a lot of plastic either. This is the only, like, plastic really on top. So they have smoothies, soups, and harvest bowls. So this is a smoothie. It's pineapple, kale, coconut, lime, matcha, and vanilla beans. Super yummy. I like to bulk them up a little bit, so I'm going to add some organ protein and um, a little bit of spinach and some celery. So let's dive right in. All right. Um, so I'm not sure if we should use apple juice or almond milk with this. Choose your liquid base. We go with a light option like coconut water. I never use coconut water in a smoothie. Way too much sugar, way too much sugar. So let's go with apple juice, but let's pull out the oat milk too, like just in case, we'll see. Oh, I do really love this top. And I'm so glad it's like, I would never commit to buying this. I mean, but maybe, maybe now that I've worn it, but on off the rack, I would be like, oh yeah, give me the peasant crop top. No, but it's nice. I, I'm going to send this back tomorrow morning along with the like denim overalls. And I might keep the blazer actually. I'll show you all the blazer before we hop off. But I do have to hurry because I am about to pick up my boyfriend, partner, daddy. Michael Vegas um, is on a film set right now, but he's just about wrapping up. So we got to make this quick. But he'll probably want some smoothie too. So um, we're going to bulk this one up. We're going to take this little smoothie starter, which is 140 calories total. Total. So we're going to add some, some bulk to it. So already plugged in our Vitamix. Hi, Grace Massey. What does oat milk taste like in comparison to soy and other options? I like oat milk best, and so does Daddy. Um, the thing with making oat milk, I hear, is that it can get a little slimy, but you don't have to worry about that when you're buying it from the store. You know, Oatly, Planet Oat Milk, these are the oat milk experts. So we did a little oat milk in there. I feel reluctant to put apple juice in. I just think that with all that pineapple, it's going to be sweet enough, you know, and I'm pretty sensitive to sweet. I like to keep my sugar low. I um, I quit sugar, actually, for two years. Um, there's no need for this. Oh, no, the spinach. We need the spinach. So, pro tip, put a um, paper towel in your spinach. So... The paper towel absorbs the moisture, ideally, 
not your spinach. This spinach is on its like last day out. Um, how did quitting sugar go? Um, quitting sugar was one of the hardest things I've ever done. I did it while I was writing my first feature for the San Francisco Weekly um, back in 2014, I think. Um, you know, we're going to add a little bit of apple juice and ice. Ice is very important to bulk it up. Um, there. So I quit sugar in 2014 um, as I was writing my first feature, which is in the beginning of my book, uh, Truth, Justice, and the American War, which you can just Google and buy on Amazon. Um, but yeah, I was... I was in the heat of that as my body was detoxing off sugar. It was so intense. It was so intense. But it was one of the best things I've ever done. It really was. Um, did, I put, did I put celery in here? I don't remember. Might as well add another one. Um, but it freed me in a lot of ways. When So when my husband divorced me, like two months after we got married and left me for my girlfriend, um, I was like, I'm fine. Like, I didn't eat cookies for two years. You can't, you can't break my heart. <laughs> we good, sir. We good. Okay. It is time to blendy blendy. Oh, we need some ice. We definitely need some ice. So yeah, I highly recommend just quitting sugar even for a short period of time just to prove to yourself that you can. Should I add a banana? No. Let's, let's see if we need the banana. See if we need the banana. Sometimes you need the banana when you got the protein powder. This organic protein powder has um, sugar alcohols in it, so uh, not real sugar, but like, what does it have in it? Sucralose? I don't know. I don't want to think about it right now. It may or may not be good for you, but I think it's probably good for you. Um, get a Vitamix, it'll change your life. Add cinnamon. Cookies are so much harder to quit than ditch. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, Mods. I read that before I could. I think you can say that. shopping later. Live a little bit. We're going to use this banana. Daddy wants this movie too, you know. <laughs> All right. Call this a homemade smoothie. Thank you. 
I think we did it. Let's uh now is the true taste test. Some, you know, like Daily Harvest does a really good job. Sometimes I add stuff and I worry that I ruin it. Oh yes. Oh yes. Mm. Okay. We gotta hurry, we gotta put all this stuff away. Daddy will not be soaked if we come home and the kitchen is not clean. He will not like that. So let's tidy up real, real quick, pack up these smoothies, put in our eye contacts, put on our Ho Cosmetics, and let's be out the door. She's gonna have to put up her hair for this. Hold on, sit tight. Scrunchies, scrunchies are the new hair bands. Um, oh yes, I'll, yeah, I'll put the recipe in the notes. Um, it's just frozen banana protein powder. You know, just like bulk it up. Take the base that Daily Harvest gives you and add the things you need because it's it's only a couple calories. It's like 100 calories. Some of them have more, but like not really. <laughs> okay, let's do my to-go cup is in the car. Daddy has his to-go cup. Jars. This jar. Hmm. We may be living on the edge, y'all. Living on the edge of nowhere. Um, if it's too personal, am I collared? Yes, I am collared. Oh my god! Look at you, calling her out. Yes, she's collared. Um, she is. By she, I mean me. <laughs> I've been a lifestyle submissive for. A long time since 2000, but pretty much as long as I've been Suzy Q. I was exploring, and you can read all about this in my book, Truth, Justice, and the American Poor, available on Amazon. Um, but yeah, I was exploring BDSM right around the time I started. Um, I mean, that's really what led me to sex work. I thought I wanted a sugar daddy, which like I still do, and I have two of them, <laughs> minimum. But um, I liked that idea of just daddy. Like I knew that's that's what I wanted first and foremost. So BDSM, interest in BDSM took me, got me to sex work um, and the adult industry. So, but you know, I don't do, yes, I'm gross. Um, I don't do, I mean, I do bond, I, I do, did a ton of bondage modeling. Um, and still do occasionally. Um, but, uh, that doesn't fit. Does that fit? Always trying to use less plastic, you know? So we kind of save these jars, but like, it's impossible to keep all the lids straight, you know? Yeah, check out um, my friend Madison Young wrote a great book called Daddy. Um, that you could check out as well. Okay, this is not going well. She's not going well, Lord. Okay. It's fine. We are just going to put... Ready? The thing that's cool about the Daily Harvest thing is they come with their own cup. So this has some kale in it still, but... So... I can just take... Michael is terrible at, um, oh, thanks. Yeah, I have great sugar daddies. I love them so much. Um, one of them is taking me and friends to the Nutcracker tomorrow. I'm really excited. So um, this is one thing I love about Daily Harvest. Michael, my daddy, is terrible about rinsing his smoothie cup. So he gets the throwaway cup <laughs> as penance. So okay, that one is set. Daddy is squared away. I, what am I gonna put mine in? I'm gonna put the rest in this big ass one and just like hope for the best. Does this fit? Oh yeah, this fits, look, oh, I can't. can't say bad words. Sorry, don't say bad words. Okay, so we dirtied these jars for no reason. And I'm gonna do the thing. I was just complaining. Oh yeah, man, this is a ton of fucking food tape. 
Don't say bad words. Mm, okay. Okay. We're doing this. Okay. So this makes a lot of smoothies. Makes a lot of smoothies. So again, this is this jar is not really gonna put it very dangerously in the fridge and hope for the best. Come back for it later. Be responsible for it. Okay. Gotta drink this. Mm-hmm. Take this to daddy. Let's put on a very, very quick Ho Cosmetics face and Hubble contact lens. Vibe. Okay, it's a vibe. <sighs> Not spill. Move up a little bit. My natural light. Okay. <sighs> Hubble Cosmetics or Hubble. Hubble contact lenses has definitely improved my life. Um, when I was on tour, see, I didn't even like wash my hands before putting these on. <laughs> just goes to share. I'm just like, they're clean, right? I just like, I'm so bad about my, ooh, there we go. My contact lens health. <laughs> so keeping the ones, like having like, the contacts that you save, like not having dailies was, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. It was bad for my eyes, especially with the amount of makeup that I wear. So when I switch, I start, I was getting my eyelashes done for a long time by Pilar Teaspoon, follow her on TikTok. Um, lash me up Pilar, I think. No, I think she's Pilar Teaspoon everywhere. But these are great. They're not like, they're not the fancy kind that like have astigmatism in them. Um, so yeah, <sighs> ta-da, ready to go. Okay, so I'm not gonna put on too much face because I'm just, you know, I'm just out here. I'm actually not gonna put on the eye right now, but I want you to know that the sex proofing spray from Ho Cosmetics really works. I shot a pegging scene and I also, like I, I did an anal scene for, on the top and the bottom. Like I was doing somebody in the bottom and they were also doing my bottom. This person is my partner, the daddy of which I speak. Um, and yeah, it, it's, I still had to like really, I mean, you can still see I have a little bit of lip color left over from last night. Like it does not quit. Um, this is the most brilliant eyeliner in the world. Look, it's a little pot right there. So for a beginner, I am, I've been, in the, I've been in the adult industry for 10 years and I've, it was only because of this product that I started doing wing liner, finally, finally. And I feel like too nervous to do it today. I'm, I'm gonna do a whole like tutorial, like, okay, wing liner and me, it's too much for today. But this is an amazing tool and like it never has to get dirty, just goes right back in here, never has to get dry, it just closes right up like that. Oh yeah, I've got liquid finesse. I'm just going to liquid finesse me. I have yet to use liquid finesse. Ooh. I'm going to I'm going to wait for tomorrow for liquid finesse. Um this is bottled oxytocin. So, I'm going to wear this tomorrow on my date with my sugar daddy to the nutcracker. We'll see what happens. Maybe um we'll see what I get for Christmas. <laughs> mm. My sugar daddy is polyamorous. Kind of interesting. Okay, um, what else are we doing here? Oh, mascara. Oh, wait, no, this is the tantric lip gel. This is the thing that will not leave my lips. It's so wild. I'm not going to put any on as well. Um, what am I putting on now? Just mascara. Mascara. What are the other things? This thing. See, this is what I was afraid of. I started, like, incorporated whole cosmetic stuff already into my... Oh, the nude lip liner. The nude liner. This... This is the jam, you guys. This is the jam. Okay, let's do it. Um, so, see, just like a little. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm. Mm. I love it so much. And then also, oh, <laughs> still a little left over from last night. Oh yeah, 
Oh yeah. Brighten up those ojos. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Why do I make her face like that when you do your eye makeup? Does anyone else do that? Okay, this is, uh, so Hoe Cosmetics does not have, um, like, face yet. Um, that's okay. They're just getting started. And also, like, skin tone stuff. It's just, like, oh, it's so personal. It's, like, a whole different. It's like a pair of jeans, you know what I mean? Like, it's like you're gonna become a clothing apparel person. I don't start with jeans, like <laughs> you know what I mean. Like make a dress, see how it goes. It's just like people are so particular. I, I know I am anyway. So this is um this is Neutrogena Skin Cleansing Mineral Powder Micro Clear. Just a little little lift, and then I also use on the regular um Tarte Pro Glow to Go, which is just like a little highlighter. <laughs> situation so we got I'm gonna start here just brighten her up a little bit I don't really do my makeup every day I really don't I prefer to just not <laughs> if I'm not getting paid um I don't do it but you know new year new me YouTube life uh you gotta do it you just gotta do it um and I and I love it you know it is part of the training, right? Um, I have a background in the theater. I come, I'm like a third generation performer. My grandpa was a um, musician. My mom was an actress and a professional stage manager. Um, and my dad is currently still a um, theatrical lighting designer and um, master electrician. He's uh, a union guy, of course. Um, he was Local 611 IATSE, which is the stagehands union. Um, he worked pff, so many like concert gigs and stuff to, uh, you know, put some money aside so I could go to college and study theater and then become a sex worker. <laughs> but they are very supportive and very proud. They understand that um, I chose a path that allowed me to be free and allowed me to be an artist, and that's really all they ever wanted for me. But my point is, um, I had to take makeup classes in college. And it was awesome. I'm really glad I did. This is literally a wet and wild palette. I am not proud. I have definitely used that shit. Oh, I'm sorry. So sorry. Um, yeah, wet and wild got me through baby stripper life. <laughs> it's, it's cheap. It's reliable. It's not necessarily good, but it's reliably mediocre, I guess. Um, I'm not going to use the tantric lip gel right now because it is just like, it's fire. Like, I still have some on my lips from last night. So instead, let's just do a little nude. A little nudist. Oh, oh, I need my under eye concealer. I feel like I'm doing a challenge, like, get ready fast. But it's like, I mean, I am supposed to go pick up my boyfriend, so. And he's not just my boyfriend, he's my daddy. More on what that means in another video. If you have questions about what that means, please drop them in the comments. And um, like and subscribe and share. Um, this is NYX, another awesome line that is like reliable. It's actually like reliably good though. Um, I used to use NYX back in the day when I lived in San Francisco. They were always in like little Chinese variety shops. And, uh, ooh, I really need to up my eye brat, eyelash eyeshadow brush game. I just like use the same one over and over again. It's very gross. Very, very gross. Oh, I need, I need to get the pink one. I'm going to go work out with Lydia tonight. Um, we will probably do a workout in a full face of makeup tonight. So get excited and subscribe to my channel and click on the button so you get the ding when I'm around. Okay, I feel pretty good. Oh, of course, 
We still need to finish our lips and our lashes. Okay. Let's see how these slips go. This is just a um, Ellen Tracy, like cheap drugstore nude. That's nice. Mm, it's kind of a lip eraser, which is why that nude lip pencil is so nice. Mm-hmm. And please be advised, I'm definitely just gonna put some like flavored gingerbread chapstick gloss over this. I just don't wanna like show up. I don't know. I may have to wear the tan to lip gel, guys. After you've had the tantric lip gel, like nothing else compares, really. Uh, ooh, my twin sister's got her bachelor's in musical theater. I love it. Actually, my love, escorting and act actresses and escorting used to be part of the same social class for many, many years. It's only as of very recently that firm lines have been drawn in the sand about like what it means when a girl gets on stage. For many, many years, being on stage simply meant you were available. So the fact that you're an escort and your twin is a... Uh, a musical theater nerd, uh, sounds about right. <laughs> sounds about right to me. I am both. I am an escort and a hoe and a big old musical theater nerd. Follow me on TikTok. SQ Media is my handle um, for very, very silly memes. Okay, that's a little warm. I need a little bit more. I'm, a high, I'm such a highlight whore, I really am. Lydia's like not about it. She says people wear too much highlighter, which they do, but like, I love it. Okay, lashes and then let's go pick up daddy. Thank you so much for um, watching with me and smoothing with me. I hope that you um, start your day off right with a smoothie and a beautiful face of makeup. Um, so in review, Daily Harvest, full lifesaver. Um, however, they do have some shipping problems. I have gotten food that is, like, not frozen anymore. But they're always, like, really good about, like, replacing it or giving me a store credit. So check out the link um, that I'm going to drop in the notes so you can get a discount on your own box of Daily Harvest and your own box of Hubble Contacts. And I should have an affiliate code for Hubble Cosmetics as well. So check it out, um, as well as have a dash as well. And thank you so much for watching. Please find me on social media, Suzy Q Media on both Instagram and Twitter. And you can find me on Snapchat. My free Snapchat is SQ Fan Club. There's a little like, you know, casual ho face. It's just like, hey you guys, I'm just here to like pick up my boyfriend and like drink a smoothie. It's not like I have two sugar daddies or anything. Except I do. Okay, bye. I have to go pick up my boyfriend at a point set now. <laughs> Thank you so much for walking, watching. Um, oh, my nails didn't match my necklace. Um, this is not my like all the time collar. I have three different collars. One of them is my dollhouse necklace. Um, so yeah, this is more of a symbolic collar. Holly, what's up? Do you want? Is it time to go pick up Daddy? I think it is. Say bye to everybody. Say bye. Yeah, Callie and I wish you a very beautiful day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you know when I'm live. Go register to vote if you live in the United States. And I love y'all. Thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, this is Susie Q signing off.